In this lesson, we are going to be graphing quadratic functions or equations um, which are given to us in standard form. In the previous lesson, I might have also called this normal form. And that's just where they write it as y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Because remember, you get two different ways. That you get this way, which is called the standard or the normal method. And then you also get the vertex method where it's written more some or it's written something like that. We will be looking at that one in the next lesson, but for this lesson we're only looking at this. Another thing is that we're not going to be looking at x and y intercepts. We will look at that in later lessons in this chapter, but for now we're just going to learn how to do the basics of drawing a quadratic. Maybe you don't even know what a quadratic looks like. Well, it's a graph that does this, okay? Sometimes it could also be upside down, uh, but we're going to talk about all of that in this lesson. So here's our first one. So what I want you to do, and I hope you've watched the previous lesson where I taught you how to find the vertex. Kevin, what is the vertex? Well, the vertex is the place where the graph turns. That's the vertex. Now, if you um, are given an equation like this, okay? Step one, we are going to have to go and find the vertex. So in the previous lesson, I showed you that to find the x value of the vertex, you use the following formula, minus b over 2a, where this number here is a, this number is b, and this number is c. So that's going to be x equals to negative. Now b is 16, a is negative 2, and so that's going to be negative 16 over negative 4, and that is going to give us a value of 4. Okay, so we know the x value of our vertex, but that's not good enough. We also need to know the y value. To find the y value, it is so easy. You take this x value, which is 4, and you literally just go plug it in or substitute it into the equation. And so to find the y value, you're just going to have negative 2 and then in brackets 4 squared um, plus 16 times 4, uh, take away 30. And so that's going to end up giving us 2. So the x value is 4 and the y value is 2. So you're going to go to x is 4 and y is 2 and you're still going to put a little dot there. Okay, now we don't yet know if this graph is going to go this way or if it's going to go this way. Okay, so what we do now, got some nice little tricks for you guys. So that was step one. Ooh, what happened there? So that was step one, right? Where we got a, um, we got the vertex. Step two, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go create a table of values. A table of values. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a little table, okay? And you're going to just give it a label X and Y. And then you're going to make five spots like that. In the middle, in the middle, I want you to put this x value, which is your um, vertex x value. Just put that there. Don't. I mean, you can put the y value if you want, but it's not really necessary. Um, now, what I want you to do is I want you to choose um, this x value. Just let it be one less, and then this one. Let it be one more. Then let this one be two less, so that's two, and then let this one be two more. Then this number here. Okay. Now, what you're going to go do? You can either choose to do the five and the six, or you can choose to do the two and the three, but don't do all of them. It's just gonna, it's gonna waste your time. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go, I'm gonna choose the two and the three. So I'm gonna take the two, and I'm gonna go plug it into my equation, just so that I can find the y value. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to find the y value for those two points over there. So if I go plug in the, um, the two, then I end up with this. And that's going to give negative 6. Okay, so you can go put in a negative 6 there. Then you're going to do the same with a 3. So you're going to put a 3 in the place of all the x's. And that's going to give you 0. Now, when we have quadratics, they are symmetrical across the vertex line. What does symmetrical mean? Symmetrical means it's exactly the same on both sides. So that means if you go one place to the left and you go one place to the right, these y values are going to be exactly the same. So that means that this 0 over here for the 3 is also going to be a 0 for the 5 because they um, this is one place to the left and this is one place to the right. And then this would be negative 6 
because it's perfectly symmetrical. If you go two places to the left and two places to the right, it's gonna be perfectly symmetrical. So you don't have to go and calculate these ones. But if you do, there's not there's no, nothing wrong with that. You can go do that. Um, it's just gonna take you a bit of time, that's all. Now all we do is we just go plot those values. So I'm gonna go plot the two and the negative six. So two and negative six, which is there. Um, three and zero, which is there. Uh, four and two, we've already got five and zero, and then um, six and negative six. There we go. Now we're just gonna try to draw a neat curve going through there, put a little arrow, and then going through there, put a little arrow, and that is it. That is all that we are gonna be doing um, to draw a quadratic. In later lessons, I'll teach you exactly how to find the x-intercepts. I mean, I know we found them now, but that was just because of luck. But there are other ways of doing it, and I'll also show you how to find the y-intercepts and things like that. But that'll come later. For now, we're just learning how to draw them like this. Okay, so I've got another two examples for us to practice. So here's our next one. So we can see that this is written in standard form or normal form. So step one is just to go find the vertex. Vertex. How do we do that again? Well, well done if you can remember that it's negative b over 2a. So remember, b is this number over here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna say minus or negative, and then that's also a negative. So don't worry about that. And then a is positive two, so we're gonna fill that in there. And so that's gonna end up giving us eight over four, and so that's gonna give us two. Okay, so we have the x value of the vertex. To find the y value, you're gonna plug that x value into all of these places. It's so simple, hey? So it's just gonna be like that, like that, and like that. Go ahead, type that all in, and that's gonna give us a negative two. Okay, so we have our vertex, well done guys. So the x value is two, the y value is negative two. So that's gonna be over here. X is two, y is negative two. What do we do next? Well done, if you remember, we now create our table of values. Okay, so that's step two. Step two, table of values. So um, I always suggest just make a table um, with five, well, I mean, you have your X and Y, and then make five spots. One, three, so something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, in the middle one, because you can have a middle when there's five, um, put your vertex, so that's two, negative two. Then what I suggest is go one up and one down. Then go another one up and another one down. See what I did there? I'm, I'm just going on either side of the vertex. Okay, then you can decide to find these y values, or you can rather decide to find these y values. That's completely your choice. Okay, I'm gonna go with these ones. So what I do is I then take these x values and I go e plug it into this equation. So I'm gonna start with zero. So, whoops. And if you had to do that, that is gonna give you a value of six. So we put a six over there. Then we're gonna go put in a one. So we replace all of that with a one. And that's gonna give us zero. Okay, so we do that. Now we just do the symmetry, because remember that we said in the previous example that wherever your vertex is, it is completely, the graph is completely symmetrical on either side, okay? So that means that this is also gonna be a zero, and then this one is gonna be the same as this one. So we're gonna go six. And now we just go plot those points. So zero and six is over here. Um, one and zero, one and zero is over here. Zero, I mean, sorry, three and zero is over there. And then four and six is over there. Very nice. If, if you ever do this and you get something completely way off, like maybe you get a point over there, then something's obviously gone wrong, okay? So there we have it. So now we're just gonna go draw. And then we're gonna go draw, whoopsie. There we go, we have one more example. Okay, so here we go. Um, so remember, step one, we're just gonna go find the vertex. The vertex formula is x equals to negative b over 2a. And so remember that this is a, the one in front of the x, that's b, and then that's c. So if we wanna get negative b over 2a, we're gonna say negative 
and then B is negative two, so we'll just say negative two. And then A is, if there's no number there, then it's just a one, right? So it's negative one. And so that's gonna end up giving us positive two over negative two, which is negative one. Okay, so we have the X value of our vertex, but now we need the Y value. So to find the Y value, we're just gonna go plug that X value into there and there. And so that's gonna be Y equals to negative, and then X is negative one, like that, and then take away four. And so if you had to go calculate that, it'll be negative three. So we now have our vertex as X is negative one and Y is negative three. So we can go plot that over here. X is negative one, Y is negative three. Now we need to go do what? What is step two? Can you remember? Table of values, well done. Okay, so step two, we're gonna go do the table of values. So as I said, just make a table, uh, put your X and your Y, and then make five spots, like that. Then what I always suggest is in the middle, put your vertex. So X is negative one, Y is negative three. Then, so then what I would suggest is go one to the left. So what is one less than negative one? It's not zero, it's negative two, and then negative three. And then what is one more than that? That would be zero, and then one. Okay, so what we do now is you can either decide to go find these Y values, or you can decide to go and find these Y values. I'm gonna choose these ones because it's just much easier without having to work with negatives. So we're gonna start by plugging in the zero. So we're gonna plug zero into all of the X's places, like that, and that's gonna give us negative four. So we're gonna put a negative four over there. Then we're gonna go plug X as one, okay? So that's gonna end up giving us negative and then put the one in brackets. I didn't worry too much about brackets here because I knew that zero is just gonna cancel out. Um, squared, take away two, um, and then the X value is one, and then take away four. Go ahead, type that all in on your calculator, and you get negative seven. Okay, so we put negative seven. You see, what some students do when they see this negative X squared is they, they put the negative one like that in the bracket, but that's not correct, because what it says is that there's a negative in the front, so you put the negative in the front, then the X value, that that's the only part that gets squared. It makes a big difference. Okay, um, now what you do is you just use symmetry. Remember we said that these, these um, equations are symmetric. So let me draw that a bit bigger for us quickly. So if you have a quadratic, I'm just gonna draw a random one. What we've said is that it is completely symmetrical. So the Y values are the same on either side, as long as you go the same distance on either side. So if this is negative four, then this one will be negative four. And if this is negative seven, then this will be negative seven. Okay, because we're using symmetry. So now we can go plot all of these points. So negative three and negative seven, uh, where's that? Negative three, negative seven over there. And then negative two and negative four is over there. Zero and negative four over there. And then one and negative seven is over there. So that, if we had to draw that, would look like that.